In this scenario, you will create the elements necessary for asset analytics monitoring, including monitoring the Pi AF01 machine itself. After reviewing what configuration data is required for the elements to function, you will locate the required data and configure the elements appropriately. You will review the analyses and determine how they are used for monitoring and what triggers them. You will simulate a high latency condition, delays in calculations, by triggering analyses to produce event frames and notifications and review these outputs. Review the Pi architecture diagram provided in the scenario at the beginning of this course manual. First, you will create the Pi AF01 machine element. For now, we just need a server element to exist so we can create the asset analytics component under it. So we will use the PSM server basic template. In Pi System Explorer, in the browser, right-click the Pi School element in your database and select New, New Child Element. In the Choose Element template window, ensure reference type Domain Server is chosen and select the PSM Server Basic template. You will see a new server element under Pi School in the element structure. The element will have a default name indicating that user input is required. Select the Attributes tab in the viewer. This element uses the same template as the Pi Server 01 and Pi Int 01 elements you created previously, so the attributes and analyses will be the same. You will need to fill in certain details that were provided at the beginning of this document in the target attribute. Target, the machine name for the server, will be set to Pi AF01. The default values for location 1 and location 4 can stay the same. Perfmon point source, the point source for the Pi Perfmon interface that is retrieving the performance counters for this server, will be set to Pi Monitor 01 underscore PERF01. Check in your changes. Ensure that the values you have entered look exactly as shown. To create the tags for the Pi Point data reference attributes, right click on the Pi AF01 element in the browser and select Create or Update Data Reference. The Create Config window will show the progress of the creation. Once the tags have finished creating, Select the Analyses tab in the viewer, and you will see a number of analyses defined for this element. As previously, the analyses are disabled. You can enable them individually here, or use the Management plugin from the Navigator to enable them all at once, and confirm that they have the correct status after startup. Enable the new notification rules as well. Once the analyses and notifications are running, go back to the Attributes tab, wait a few minutes, and click the Refresh button in the toolbar to see values. You may have to wait up to five minutes to see a value for notification suppressed as that analysis is on a five minute periodic schedule. Next, you will create the element for the asset analytics component. Asset analytics is the analytics engine for the Pi system. It executes analyses, creates event frames, and backfills and recalculates data. An overloaded asset analytics service will result in lagging calculations, skipped evaluations, and slow backfilling or recalculations. Monitoring the health of asset analytics allows you to proactively address issues that may arise. In Pi System Explorer, in the browser, right-click on the Pi AF01 element in your database and select New Child Element. In the Choose Element template window, ensure reference type Server Asset Analytics is chosen, and select the PSM Asset Analytics template. You will now see a new Pi Analytics element with a default name under Pi AF01 in the element structure. The name can stay as is. Select the Attributes tab. Find and expand the target attribute. If you scroll down, it should be at the bottom under category ZZZ Configuration. Notice that the target and Perfmon point source attributes are already filled in. They are inherited from the parent element. Check the ZZZ Configuration category to see if any other configuration items need to be populated. There are none in this case. Check in your changes and select the Refresh button from the toolbar. Your element hierarchy should now look as shown. This element has several Pi Point data reference attributes. You will need to create the tags for these. Right click on the Pi AF01 Asset Analytics element in the browser and select Create or Update Data Reference. The Create Config window will show the progress of the creation. Select the Analyses tab in the viewer and you will see a number of analyses defined for this element. As previously, the analyses are disabled. You can enable them individually here or use the Management plugin from the Navigator to enable them all at once and confirm that they have the correct status after startup. Enable any new notification rules as well. Now that you have created and configured the elements and analyses, 
you will simulate a high latency condition for asset analytics. You may experience high latency overall due to various reasons, including too many analyses, input data density or pattern, expensive functions, etc. Or you may experience it on a small number of analyses that have specific issues. It is important to know where there are issues with the analysis service. They can be addressed quickly to prevent problems like gaps in analysis outputs, analyses not updating, or other issues. Select Elements in the Navigator and go to the Analyses tab in the Viewer to select the High Latency Event Frame Analysis. High latency triggers if the Pi Analysis Service maximum latency is greater than its high child attribute and recalculation is not active because we expect possible high latency during recalculation periods. There is a second start trigger for sustained high latency with the same logic, but a true for 20 minutes, which will trigger if the high latency is sustained for this long. Select the Attributes tab in the viewer and find the Pi Analysis Service maximum latency attribute. Expand the attribute to see the high child attribute. The threshold value is set to 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds. Looking at the Pi Analysis Service maximum latency value, it is below the threshold. So set the high attribute to a lower value, like 100 milliseconds. Check in your changes. Select the Analyses tab in the viewer and select the High Latency Event Frame Analysis. Click Evaluate and see that the value for the high latency trigger is true. Select the General tab and click Event Frames. You will see a new event frame for Asset Analytics High Latency. The blank end time indicates that the event frame is still active. Close the event frame window. Open Microsoft Outlook on the Pi Monitor 01 machine. In the Student 01 at Pi School in Inbox, locate the email for the Asset Analytics High Latency notification. Refresh if it is not showing up. Open the email and look at the contents. Select the Attributes tab in the viewer and change the value for Pi Analysis Service Maximum Latency High back to 10,000 milliseconds. Check in your changes. Select the Analyses tab in the viewer and select the High Latency Event Frame Analysis. Click Evaluate and see that the value for the High Latency trigger is now false. Select the General tab and click Event Frames. Confirm that the event frame has closed. It will now have an end time. You should also get a notification closed email.